Hello guys and welcome to another Buildcraft quick tip video, a short tutorial. Uh, I got a question of how to do some advanced controls of uh, energy cells. Well, perhaps not that advanced, but uh, we need to... The question was how to make it run until a certain level and uh, then have a way to force on. So I have an auto mode and force on. And to do that, it's what we need is basically a, a not gate. Since I want to be able to override, then it's very hard to override a high signal with a low signal. So, and it of course is much easier to override low with high, quite natural. And we can have a condition on low energy stored saying that we want to do things on low energy but we have no condition saying that when we not have a low condition low energy stored condition it should be okay then you can do like this to create a not gate from an and gate um, so let's go through the setup first over here just energy cell high Let's say signal required and here we have on and off to output energy all right this one is in auto or force mode so it will run until five percent and then it will shut down and then we, if we turn to force on it will output so right now in auto it will stay around 100k that's five percent and constantly output whatever we get in but as soon as we turn this off it, we will fall down below the 5% and things will stop. So we do this by saying when we have low energy stored, output a red pipe signal. And this is just to itself. And if we not have a red pipe signal, then output a redstone signal. So now watch what happens when we have it on. Then we have a red pipe signal and that means no red pipe signal well i'll put a redstone signal and turn things on quite simple um, but not perhaps it's not the first thing you think of but uh, and one more thing is that we can actually expand this so if we do like this and place a basic gate uh, let's see and we say that if we get a redstone signal then I'll put a red pipe signal. Remember that a red pipe signal is the same thing as low energy and that means that we should turn things off. So with a lever here we can say off. Now it will just be filled and not output anything even though we are higher than the 5%. This is overriding the off. I wonder what this no, the off is always highest priority. And then auto or force on. So if we do like this force on, then it will just run until empty at all times. In auto mode it will stop at 5% and off will never output any energy. So you, you can do this, you can have two gates within the same block space doing the same thing. I think that's... Was, that was my first design. Yeah, over here. Then I had this condition in one gate and then I had another gate to pick it up. This works identical to my uh, final solution, but then this was actually the first one I used. But uh, it's the same thing. But you can have blocks uh, or different gates uh, within the same block space talking to each other that's uh, of course fine another good thing with about this is that you can probably i haven't done it yet but it shouldn't be a big problem since you can sort on or have a condition on high energy and low energy then you can probably very easily create a hysteresis to turn things on when you're high and turn things off when you are low that shouldn't be a big problem uh, but one thing to remember that you should take with you is that let's see if we turn uh, normally when i place a redstone energy cell 
I just do like this shift click to disable all the outputs. But see what happens now. I can't see the high and low energy. I need to set this to an output or input to get the high or and low energy. So output works, input works, but as soon as I turn it off, then I can't see them anymore. So remember that when you try to do this, it, it took me uh, <laughs> took me a few seconds to understand that when I bumped into the problem. Um, all right, that's it. Short video: how to make an invert in a not gate, but also that you can have se several gates within the same lock space talking to each other. Quite cool, quite easy, and very useful because now we have on, off, and out too. And that's better than it was before. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.